what is going on guys welcome to your 53rd UDK tutorial and in these upcoming tutorials I'm going to be teaching you guys how to make a really cool effect of the user shooting a light with a gun and blowing out that light so there are a lot of pieces involved so you guys definitely want to stick around and follow this tutorial because it's going to be really cool so the very first thing we need is of course a couple lights so let's go ahead and pop open our content browser and make sure we have everything cleared out and I'm just going to be looking for a cool static mesh of a neat looking light. So let's see what we got here. This one's pretty boring. This one's pretty boring. This one looks pretty cool, I guess, right here. So go ahead and, of course, we don't just want to use the static mesh. We want to use the interp actor. So go ahead and make sure it's fully loaded, which in my case it is, and make sure it's selected. Now go ahead and X out of your content browser and wherever you want to plop it down, go ahead and right click and hit add interp actor wall light zero one and now what I can do is I can just copy this but I'm just gonna go ahead and add another interp actor because I added two because what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be keeping one normal you see how it's kinda of glowing and pulsating blue light and we're gonna be shutting the emissive property or the blue light off on this and then whenever we shoot it we're gonna hide this one and make this one appear so it looks like we shot it out However, it's not as easy as you guys might think. So the very first thing we need to do is we need to keep this one the same and we need to shut off that blue pulsating light in this one. So in order to do that, the easiest way we can do that is just to edit the material. So with this interp actor selected, go to materials and find the material in the content browser. This takes you to whatever material is applied to that interp actor right there. So what we want to do is just go ahead and make a copy of this by right clicking and hit create a copy and then give it a new name like underscore busted. So it's basically the same exact material that has a new name and it's going to take a couple seconds to load and make sure you're working with your new busted material. And by the way, you need to make sure that your packages are saved for you to see any changes so I'm gonna go ahead and save it right now and I just wanna you know save it because I like to save it frequently now go ahead and double click your busted light and remember this is gonna open up your material editor so the only thing we need to do with this material is shut off that emissive property so go ahead and whatever is connected to emissive hold down alt and click and that's going to shut off all the emissive properties. So now you just have a, a regular plain old light that looks like it's off. Perfect. That's exactly what we were going for. So now X out of this and it's going to say, would you like to apply? Yeah. Basically, would you like to save? Press yes. So we're going to save it there. And also, we need to save the package as well. A lot of people forget to do this, but go ahead and right click and save this package as well so now check it out we have this regular light right here that was applied to this interp actor and now when we want to apply our busted material to this interp actor go ahead and I guess we can go ahead and drag and drop but another way you can do this is just go ahead and select the material right click and hit materials assign from content browser and then whatever material you have in your content browser it's gonna assign it to this interp actor right here pretty cool huh so now if we go ahead and first of all I want to rebuild everything just to make sure it's working right and this is going to take some time so might as well tell you guys a story uh, I was at the post office today and this guy kept coughing on me he was standing behind me and he was like coughing on the back of my neck and I was like dude what's up anyways that's my nice little, <laughs> that's my nice little five second story while my lights are building so now all I want to do is go ahead right click hit play from here and just go ahead and verify that you have this material is glowing and emissive and again whenever we shoot it we're gonna want it to blow up and we're gonna make this material visible however we're gonna be doing a couple other things as well not just switching them because if you think you're ready to move on to the next tutorial and you can just skip it you're wrong because I'm gonna be adding some other properties and other lights as well and making it a really cool looking system so don't just skip ahead because I got a lot more things to cover and by the way a couple of troubleshooting things if you guys aren't seeing changes in your material 
please make sure that your package is saved and also you save your material in the material editor those are probably going to be your two most common downfalls and uh, once you have those little points saved then you should be good to go so again if you have anything that you're messing up and you need to ask me go ahead and ask me on my forum thenewboston.com and I'll be happy to answer them for you there so well thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time